So I would like to introduce to you three new modules I worked on together with Path Set. There is Panther Cap, Hi-Fi, and Truffles. They are all about audio manipulation and processing. Of course, there will be an individual video about each of them, but today I want to quickly show you what they are about, more or less. There are also two modules that are available for free, so Hi-Fi and Truffle, so you can experiment with them, and even though they are a slim version of the commercial modules, they are indeed quite deep and there's a lot to explore with them. I would like to start with Panther Cap, which is a polyphonic granular looper. Here, for example, I have a drum loop. Right, I can change the length of the loop. And the starting point. So I can scan through the, through the loop, through the sample. Right, I can also make it run in reverse of course you can also record um, audio into it there is also a randomization section here so if for example i have a shorter loop if i click random you can see the loop is moving and this will happen according to the amount so how much it will be randomized and according to the slew so if it will jump from one section to another or if it will more transition into different sections right this will also randomize the flip and there is also the granular control so there is the grain size how many grains are playing at the same time and then there is time which will change the uh, playback speed without changing the pitch by default and then there is pitch that will change the pitch without changing the playback speed and these two controls, the time and pitch, will be highly influenced by the size and overlap. Right, so if I want, I can play this slower. Let's have a shorter loop, for example. Right. According to the size and overlap, you get different results. Also the pitch, the pitch can also be quantized to octaves or octaves and fifths. Of course, CV inputs for everything. With the tenuverters. There's also a built-in filter that will work per grain. There's a polyphonic envelope follower. There is panning modulation for the different grains and more and more and more. Again, I hope to have a video ready soon enough. Then we have truffles, which will splice audio and will give you access to various parameters per splice. And you can also trigger the splices in all sorts of different ways. Uh, you can also record into it, or you can load up to 16 different samples and scan between them, sequence them, and so on. Right, so if I start triggering the splices, I have some chords, right? This you can trigger this forward, backward, a uh, ping pong, also randomly, right? Or with CV as a address mode, right? You can change the spread so how they will be spliced. the fade, the crossfade between them. And then as you can see for each of the splices, this is also color coded. There are also different controls like speed, for example, or flip. So for example, if I flip, right, I can flip two of them. Let's have this triggered by an LFO. Right, so some of them will play in reverse. I can also say that, let's say the blue one will be an octave up if I just enter one will play an octave up. It will also play quicker in this case. I can have one an octave down. I can deactivate a few of them. I have a gate input for when they are, a gate output, sorry, for when they are playing. And there is also send and return per splice. So for example, this one octave up, I can send it into a delay. Here I have corner block two. And now just this splice, will go to a delay.
right? And like this, again, you can have up to 16 different, um, different splices, uh, different samples, sorry. Everything has a CV input, trigger input, and so on and so forth. So really, there are a lot of uh, options here with truffles. And then there's HiFi, which has multiple mini samplers that you can cross record between and create textures with lots of randomization options. So there are two loopers. There are two micro loopers. There is a pitch shifter and there is a repeater. Right, so here, for example, I have the FM operator. Right, it's going to the main input. This will go to all of the different loopers. So if, for example, I want to record a loop. Right, um, all of the loopers have a fixed length or duration. Right, now I can change the panning, the level, play it backward. Again, change the speed. Also here we have quantization, so I can play it, for example, an octave down. There is also probability for looping, if it will continue looping or not. There's also a trigger input, start of cycle output, end of cycle output, solo, play, pause, not pause, but mute. And then with the, uh, each section has also an individual output. So for example, I can take the output and connect it to the second looper here and then record it, which is again playing an octave down and in reverse. Right, and now I can, for example, take it an octave up and I can pan them a bit left and a bit right. Right, change the levels. Right, I can also add uh, randomization. So here there are uh, multiple eight modifiers that can either be uh, triggered by a trigger or you can use external CV and you can map them to basically everything here. So if I uh, click and hold the cube here, the dice, right, this will, for example, set the probability of record of the micro looper, right, and then I can use an external signal, for example, a trigger or a gate from an LFO, and then it will randomly start recording. So for example, I can take the second looper here and use it for the recording, right, if I solo it. Right, this is the micro looper. And again, I can add also randomization, for example, for the panning. Right, so you can see the panning will also change. Right, you can also play this an octave lower. Right, and like this, you can go on and continue recording between the sections or record new sections. You have eight modifiers that you can use and all sorts of different uh, ways to create textures and all sorts of interesting uh, sounds. Uh, so this is the collection. I hope you will check it out and enjoy it. Again, there will be a dedicated video about each of them in the near future. Thank you again, Pathset, for doing this with me. Thank you for watching. Cheers.